Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions Moristic. This 38-year-old mom's final wish was to buy up and destroy other people's medical debt. It was how it works and how to help. It says, at just 38, Casey McIntyre, a publisher executive remembered as an adoring wife and mother, died from ovarian cancer on November 12th, and a message written before her death that has subsequently gone viral on X, formerly known as Twitter. McIntyre shared her final wish to pay off strangers' medical debt through the charity RIP Medical Debt. To celebrate my life, I have arranged to buy up others' medical debt and then destroy the debt. McIntyre, the publisher at the Penguin Random House in print, Razabil wrote, I am so lucky to have had access to the best medical care at MSK Cancer Center Memorial Sloan Kettering Center and I'm keenly aware that so many in our country don't have access to good care. In his own ex post, her husband, Andrew Rose Gregory, called the donation experience an eye opening. Look at both our power to eliminate medical debt and how fictional and made up so much question medical debt is. He also shared his plan to host a debt jubilee with a possible bonfire and memorial service for his wife next month to date the rip medical debt campaign founded and mcintyre's name has raised six hundred and thirteen thousand dollar of its six hundred and fifty thousand dollar gold enough to wipe out more than sixty million dollar of debt McIntyre's campaign hit at the heart of a crisis affecting nearly half of Americans. Not only are many Americans struggling with access to quality care, but according to a new survey briefed by the Commonwealth Fund, nearly half of adults in the U.S., 44% have medical bill problems regardless of income, and almost half of Americans, 46% with low or average income have skip or delay care they need because of the cost. A separate survey from the Commonwealth found outlined how much medical debt Americans are carrying. 85% of respondents reported total debt of $500 or more and nearly half said they were paying of $2,000 or more. And the big picture, the most recent analysis from the Kaiser Family Foundation put the collective medical debt total in the United States at $195 billion. This is a lot, yeah. It says how donations can eliminate medical debt. This growing issue is one of the driving force behind RIP medical debt which was funded in 2014 by former debt collection executives who realized they could take advantage of the existing for-profit system of medical debt being bought and sold in bundle portfolios for much less than they face value. By using donor dollars, a nonprofit entity could buy medical debt belonging to those most in need and then effective erase them, explained Daniel Lampert, Vice President Communications for RIP Medical Debt. As Gregory noted online, every penny donated buys approximately $1 of debt. Why? Because doctors and hospitals often don't have the band rights to collect on past due debts. So they sell them to a collection agency in large portfolios for a fraction of their face value, often for pennies on a dollar or less. Say Lampert, a collection agency just need to collect the face value of some of those debts to make a profit, he explains. That's where RIP medical debt comes in. 
the charity puts donation toward the purchase of medical debt belonging to individuals who are the least likely to pay them back, specifically people who are four times or below the federal poverty level or people for whom a debt is 5% or more of their annual income. Lempert tells Yahoo Life, and they are able to do this for a penny on a dollar, which is how one dollar donated can erase on average of one hundred dollar of medical debt. He adds, "This is great. I'm glad they can work it out like that." Again, this mother had a plan, even though before she passed away, she said, "I want to do something," and um, it seems like it's going to work out. May God bless the family, and. Um, May God help the husband be strong for their daughter. Subscribe and let me know how you feel. Thank you. Bye.